All right, everybody, welcome back. This is Tom with Charlie's Props, and we're going to talk about setting up this crazy truss antenna tower. It's roughly 22 foot tree we got, so let's get to it. All right, so. We took some video and some photos yesterday, but the wind was blowing really hard. It was threatening rain, so we didn't really take any audio videos. So last year when we set this up, what we did was we set that concrete block, which has about 18 inches or so sticking out of the concrete. That was sitting on the ground. What we did last year was we set the first pole on the ground, just like we did yesterday. We bolted it to, to the way that it is. And then I climbed on top of a ladder and I hoisted this and it was an orchard ladder i hoisted this top section on top and then we bolted that on we thought that, that was a little bit uh, unsafe so this year i've tilted it down we're going to bolt it up on the ground here i'm going to put the topper on as well and so then we will tilt it up right now we've got a couple of straps hooked to some 100 pound concrete buckets and then we'll tilt it back up and that will be that. That concrete base weighs between five and 600 pounds. It's 27 gallons of concrete. It's got four hooks in it. So once everything gets placed, those, those four hooks have those same tied ratchet straps that attach to the outer ring. And then to support everything, we've got these almost seven foot long chunks of rebar that have eye hooks that are welded on. These will get pounded into the ground. So one will be roughly here in the ground and yes the front the front guy wires are about the width of the base of the ring the second one will go there and then we have this which seems like it would be a perfect place to put a tree but unfortunately it is too sunk back in the front yard but this entire thing is concrete so what we do is we pound the third stake in back here at an angle so that we're leveraging the concrete of this big giant ring against the tree because here where we are and I'm gonna walk around here because this is the kind of thing that we have to think about when we're putting these kind of trees up if we look back this way we get upwards of 70 mile an hour gusted winds and it comes basically almost exactly this direction there's almost no protection from the wind on this tree so anything that I've got on this side of the house basically gets protection. Even that tree gets some protection from the house. There's a porch over there and the fence there. It still gets hit pretty hard at the top, but for the most part, the tree is relatively protected. Whereas this tree right here gets almost zero protection. So we use that longer guy wire that runs to the back side of that big concrete chunk in the ground basically. And so everything supports it to the extent that we can hold it. Now I've got these guy wires that are attached directly to the truss here with clamps and they're double clamped here and I'll probably double check the tightness on those before we go up here. And then if we follow these out and these are these are very large wires you can see here. Um, I think they're uh, either 3 8 or 5 16 so it's a large size wire you can see here. And then we have these extra heavy duty turnbuckles here. Now to show you the size of these turnbuckles, they're pretty darn large. And again, we've got it clamped at the other end as well. Now this truss system ends up being, and we end up putting concrete around the ring as well that gets, that gets um, uh, strapped to the, the trampoline base. And this is a 10 foot trampoline base. And what I do is I, I lift Eventually I will lift these buckets up and I'll put them on the inside on top of this ring here and then attach it here. And then basically the strips just attach to the outer ring. And as we uh, continue set up, I'll continue taking more video. All right, so here is the topper. We have not attached this to the, to the top of the truss, nor has the top section been attached to the middle section. And I should also mention, all the bolts for all of the sections are grade 8 bolts so use the highest grade bolts that you can when creating these truss systems anyways so this sits and it sleeves over top so this right here is i think two or two and a quarter inch galvanized pipe and it sleeves over this so this slides over onto this 
And so you see these two bolts here, so it sleeves onto there, and then those two bolts, I've got holes drilled specifically where I want them to go. So last year, again, when this got set up, that was on top, this entire truss system went up first. I had to carry this, and with this topper here and the star attached, I just waited at 23 pounds. I had to climb to the top of this and then hoist this up over my head when I'm a little over 20 feet. So again, for safety reasons, all of this is getting done on the ground and then we will effectively push slowly that truss back up into place and then they'll get guy wired. All right, so here we are at the top of the tree. We just got all the lights up and uh, straightened out. I just use zip ties at the top, they're nice and easy. But as you can see, the structure of the tree is holding me. I wear a harness when I go up the tree and I use some straps to strap myself in so I can have both hands. But you can see here, you know, it's, it's a little over 20 feet or so. So the structure holds just fine once it's all up.